What is going on everyone? Thank you for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W. Well today, I wanted to make this video to share with you my insights on how you can develop a growth mindset. Now, developing a growth mindset doesn't just mean that you advance your current thinking. This can be applied to many things, right? So I'll talk to you on three different topics on how you can develop a growth mindset. And one, it'll be specific to your personal health. Let's say if you want to lose weight, then that can be one example of growth mindset. And I'll talk about that. Two, let's say if you want to improve your relationship building, whether it's dating or you want to improve on your marriage, I'll talk about that as well. And lastly, number three, this will be having a growth mindset specific to establishing your financial freedom. So let's go ahead and let's get started. But first off, just wanted to say I hope you all are having a wonderful day and start of a new kickoff of a new uh, year in 2021. Now, how can you develop a growth mindset specific to your personal health, right? So I'll share my story with you. Now, I've been running since 2016 consistently and prior to that I was actually up in like the 230 pounds and how was I able to lose that weight well I realized that I didn't want to become so unhealthy where let's say if I walk up the stairways I would start breathing already I just didn't really like that and also I wasn't so confident because I was really big at the time however you know I, I realized in order for me to break away from this to improve on my physical characteristics, I knew that I had to get onto the growth mindset. And just with last year up through till this year, I've been consistently running. And let me share with you my daily habit starting in 2021. So what I tend to do is right when I wake up, I just try to put a smile on my face, right? And not think so much about other things. By smiling, that will get you in a positive mood. And secondly, what I do is I would hydrate myself by drinking a full cup of water. Number three, what I'll do is I'll get into meditation where I'll do that for like five to 10 minutes. And what I'll do next is I'll read for 30 minutes. And then next I'll take my supplements such as Corella, spirulina, and turmeric pills. And then lastly, what I'll do is I'll get on my minimum five mile run for example, today I was able to do my five mile run after I had done all those daily tasks. And what was so exciting was that I was able to accomplish getting five miles done in the seven minute mile range. So that's a big improvement for me. It's been so long for me to be able to get to the seven minute marker. However, everyone is different, right? And we all have different performance. So just know that you're not trying to kill yourself getting to a different state and it's better that you improve on making small incremental changes because by improving on a small scale you will notice significant benefits in the long run and that is my example i wanted to share with you how you can develop a growth mindset specific to your personal health and let's say if it's you want to lose weight just just try to set a goal for yourself let's say for me, what I tend to do is my goal in 2021 is that I want to ensure I exercise as a minimum of three times out of the week. And let's say if I miss a day, and that means I kind of fail on the consistency part because one of the key things is once you start establishing that habit where you consistently get exercises in, whether it's running, lifting weights, riding a bike, playing basketball, volleyball, any type of sport out there where you're just working on your cardio, then that means you're physically tiring out your body and for those reasons that will send the energy to your brain and you will develop a growth mindset and will improve and build on more confidence and that's really how i was able to shape myself where i lost weight i feel much more strong and i'm able to achieve things that i wasn't able to in the past when i was at 230 pounds now I wanted to pivot over to a different topic on how you can improve on your growth mindset specific to like relationships, right? So let's say if you're trying to get the girl of your dreams, right? How do you do that? What's, what is it going to take? 
how much energy do you need to put in to to have this work out well one key thing i wanted to share with you is that when you are trying to get the girl of your dreams my recommendation is try to develop a growth mindset by really trying to focus on the skills that you possess and what do i mean by that right just try to really understand what you're good at right you don't want to be someone that you're that you're not for example trying to improve on the skills that you really don't have because time is very limited in this world and it's best that you focus on the areas that you feel that you are strong at right so for me what i realized was that i never knew that i had the capability to turn on the phone and just record myself and realize that other people would actually want to watch videos like this where i can add value but I, what i realized was that this perhaps may be a skill that I possess and once I realized that I've been just so consistent at producing more and more content and now ever since I've started YouTube I mean one of my first videos was like back in July August and I've been doing this for a few months now and what I can say is that my confidence has built up because I've been consistent at producing video content, not only in like finances, but in the personal development space, because that's the niche that I enjoy talking about as well. So one key thing is when you are trying to get the girl of your dreams, really try to focus on yourself because when you focus on your skills, that's when you will display an aura where you will start attracting the girl that you really like or let's say you're in a marriage and things aren't so great well by focusing on your specific skill sets you will be the matic where you will attract whether it's your girl of your dreams or your marriage you're trying to to build on so that's one of my key recommendation for you because at the end of the day we need to really establish our growth mindset by focusing on the things that we are really good at, right? So that's my takeaway for you, is that when you focus on yourself, others will start focusing on you. And when you start focusing on others, then others will not focus on you. That's just the, the whole philosophy of life. And the next example with growth mindset can be applied to improving on your finance, right? Let's say if you want to have financial freedom what does it take right so this goes hand in hand with all the different elements i've talked about but having a growth mindset specific to finance is is more practical because you're dealing with numbers and you're dealing with reality right so one key thing to keep in mind is let's say if you're trying to build on your financial freedom it's always important to know what you're doing with with your finances. So try to understand what's your primary uh, income that comes in. Is is your daily job providing enough daily income? Do you have passive income through dividends? Do you have stock investments where you're gaining on positive proceeds? Do you have a business in place where you're gaining revenue from products sold or service that you deliver to customers? So you have to be mindful in understanding the whole dynamics there. And really, I mean, having to really sit down and understand whether your spending habits uh, align with your actual goal. And to me, it's not about how much you make, but really it's how much you spend, right? So in life, you want to live a little bit. You don't want to be so frugal. But of course, when you understand that you have to apply different strategies, let's, for example, let's say if you're not investing, then inflation in a sense will start killing you in the long run because the cost of living just continues to grow up and the value of the dollar continues to go down that's why you have to remain bold and understand that in order to have a growth mindset you definitely have to understand these practical elements in terms of how it aligns with one another and really it's not about how much you make but it's how much you spend and understanding that if that balance ratio is good and well in control then that means you have the opportunity to be able to invest and be able to develop your passive income you can focus on your primary income and really start up alternative ways for making money right so let's say if you want to create a youtube channel where you gain on 
just the ads uh, Google will pay you on a monthly scale, that's an additional source of income as well. So those are some ways where you can develop a growth mindset from a financial aspect. And it's key that you understand that with developing a growth mindset by establishing financial freedom, it takes a lot of work. It Things don't happen overnight where you will become like, let's say a millionaire or you want to gain more in finances, but it takes effort and try to understand from a short-term perspective, what are the specific goals you have in place to get to where you want to be? Because your short-term goals really have to align to your long-term goals. And that's my recommendation to you. And I hope that these elements of how you can develop a growth mindset really just puts things into context because this is life and we're all learning and no one is perfect here, right? I mean, I'm continuously learning. I'm making mistakes day by day, but I try to make sure that I don't make the same mistakes. So my goal is to always push myself. Let's say when it comes to working out, I'm not going to just do like the set push-ups. I'm going to do that extra five more push-ups just to confuse my body because when I do that consistently, I know that that's the mindset that I live by. I like being outside of my comfort zone. And let's say if it comes to like relationships, you know, I know that in order for relationships to build, I must focus on the skills that I have and be consistent in those areas because that will allow for me to attract the one of my dreams or the one that I'm in love with. And Lastly, when it comes to financial freedom, I understand that I have to be mindful at understanding the dynamics of how much you make, how much you spend, where are you allocating these funds to. And in the end, that will allow for you to build on an overall growth mindset for you to advance further in life. And that's the key, right? We're not perfect, but we're here to grow and learn and become better people. And in the end, we can live with financial freedom and success and ultimately live a healthier and safer lifestyle. So overall, I hope that this video was valuable and that it gave you more insight, especially with the start of year 2021, where you can set goals for yourself. And I hope that these examples have put into context what growth mindset is all about. So if you have any comments, questions, please leave them down below. And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. And I'd love to hear what you have to say about you know, this video content. So once again, thank you for watching. All I see is W and let's gain on developing that growth mindset all.